This chapter is an introduction to some of the concepts in robotics. These are some of the robots developed by a successful robotics company known as Boston Dynamics. Let's start with sensors. Sensors are the interface, perceptual interface between a robot and environment. So a robot uses sensors in order to perceive the environment. And sensors may be categorized in two ways. One way to categorize sensors is to check if the sensor is an active sensor or a passive sensor. Active sensors read and write to the environment. They throw something to the environment and they perceive something to the environment. Whereas passive sensors only perceive things to the, from the environment. They don't release anything to the environment. Another way to classify sensors is to look at whether they are location sensors, range finders, or proprioceptive sensors. Location sensors find the robot's location in the environment. That is, these sensors are designed to find out the location of the robot itself. Now, range finders are the sensors that determine location in the environment. So, Whereas location center sensors are used to, calc uh, to find out the location of the robot itself, range finders help us understand or allows the robot to understand the location of other things in the environment. Proprioceptive sensors, on the other hand, are the kinds of sensors that inform the robot about it, its own motion. For example, um, the odometer in a car is an example of a proprietor proprioceptive sensor. Now let's look at active sensors versus passive sensors. As I just mentioned, passive sensors such as uh, the camera in our phone capture signals that are generated by other sources in the environment. So say for example here's earth, say you have a camera or a device that simply captures the signals in the environment which may be the source of the signal originally may be a sun, or something else in the environment, but the sensor itself is not releasing anything or producing anything, giving anything to the environment. So such sensors are passive sensors and they are the true observers of the environment because they don't mess with the environment. They simply read from the environment. Active sensors, on the other hand, send energy into the environment. An example is a sonar. So in a sonar, you send out signals and then you read the signals back and then by reading the signals, you collect information about the uh, environment. So active sensors rely on the fact that this energy is reflected back to the sensor. So of course, they, um, if this is an active sensor, um, they release some energy to the environment and then they read the energy back. The energy might go bounce off to other places as well, but um, uh, like, you know, they, they rely that some of the energy will be bounced back to them so that these in, this uh, energy is, can be read and and, and understood um, so that we, can, we have better understanding of the environment. Usually, active sensors provide more information than passive sensors. That's because um, they can control the amount of energy they send and read and so on. But now this comes with the expense of increased power consumption. So if, you're, if you have an active sensor, you can, because you have to throw energy out to the environment and then read that energy back, they consume more power. Also, active sensors always have a danger of interference. So if I have, um, let's say, one sonar device and if I have another sonar device, it is possible that the signal from one device may interfere with the signal from the other. So these are the two challenges or two sort of um, um, negative things or, or cons of um, active sensors, increased power consumption and danger of um, interference. Now, same sensor can sometimes act as passive sensor or active sensor. Here's an example. Say, for example, I have a cell phone camera and I would like to take a picture. If I take a picture from the camera without using the flashlight, then this serves or, or this becomes an example of a passive sense. Whereas um, if I use the flashlight and I'm relying on the flashlight to collect the environment uh, images, then that becomes an uh, example of um, active sensor. 